In this video, we're going to be doing a playthrough and a play along of the song Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin. So let's jump into the chords we need. Um, I want to show you the strum pattern and I want to show you just that little nice simple guitar um, part on the beginning of the song. So let's jump into the chords for this song. I'm going to be playing this song with no capo. We're using chords in the key of G. If you want to play along with the Chris Tomlin version, there's a lot of different versions of this song, um, but I th I'm pretty sure his version, he uses capo on the second fret and plays these same chords. So if you want to just play along and practice with his version, just make sure you use capo on the second fret. Uh, again, for this song, for me, I'm just going to take the capo off and play it with no capo. So the chords we need, we need the G chord. We need the C chord. We need the D chord. We need the E minor chord. And then we need the G over B chord, which is just going to be your G chord. Um, and then we're going to take that middle finger off and play the bottom five strings. So we need that G over B. Um, and then we need an A minor, which uh, stay in this position here for that G over B and just bring your pointer finger down one string. And again, just play the bottom five strings. I've got this thumb up here kind of muting that low E string, just kind of resting there. So you can use that A minor. I'll probably use this one. Um, you can also use this one. Keeping that pinky finger locked in on that high E string so it's just easier for us to get back to whatever the next chord is. Um, or if you wanted to just do a full one, full A minor seven, you can do that one too. Okay, so the strum pattern, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna use this pattern for the entire song. So it's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that's going to be the pattern that you're going to use for this entire song. So I may in the tail end of the song, maybe verse three or maybe the bridge, I may use some different chord variations um, and chord voicings of, you know, just this C chord. I may use kind of this, this bigger C chord here. Instead of using that D chord, I might use that D chord there I might use that G chord so just know just I'm gonna have the chords and the lyrics up on the screen so you can just stick with the regular chord um, shapes uh, but if you wanted to just mix it up a little bit and use some different chord voicings um, you can definitely do that too and for those different chord voicings like that C that D that G. I'll link a lesson I've done before on those alternate chord voicings that give you just a full-blown breakdown of exactly where my fingers are going. So we're not going to get into that on this lesson. So let me show you that little intro uh, guitar part. You're just going to be in your G formation here. And I want you to take that ring finger off. And this is what it's going to sound like. We're just really playing on that B string. So you're just going G with that ring finger off to the G sus and then you're putting that ring finger back on. Now you could also, if you wanted, you could just start with that regular G chord, G um, with the ring finger up here, G, do that G sus 
and then bring this pinky finger up to hit that B string. But I always kind of felt like that was too much work. Um, it was just too much moving around and my this pinky finger doesn't seem to cooperate all the time. So I just always found it a little bit easier. And I don't have like super big hands, so like I found this a little bit easier. So you can just practice and just see which one works easier for you. It's probably going to be this one here. So with that strum pattern, we're going... So that's the little guitar part on the verses. And so I'm gonna have the lyrics uh, and the chords up on the screen. So if you need these chord charts, um, if you need to download them, if you need to print them off and put some strum patterns and some notes on them, uh, they'll be on my Patreon page, which I'll link that in the description down below for you if you need the chord charts. But let's dive into the song for the first verse. I'm not gonna do that. Um, guitar part I'm just gonna play the regular G chord that way if this if that guitar part there is too hard for you I'm just gonna show you you can just stick with that easy G chord and it's gonna sound fine and then on verse 2 I'll kind of go to that guitar part
Can't hide.